Yes, welcome back to BenK USA. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As we wait to apply for DD2027, today I'm going to show you how to edit a DD Lottery Pro photo using Canva. Let's say, for example, you've gone to a photo studio, you have the edited photo as well as the raw or an edited photo. After subjecting your edited photo to DD Lottery Photo Tools, you've realized that it does not meet the requirements. You now want to edit the raw photo to size. What are you going to do? Now, let's remind ourselves what are the DV Lottery photo requirements? The photo should be two inch square, white background, not more than 240 kilobytes, 600 by 600 pixels, close mouth, no eye classes. Boom. Those are the requirements. Let's start with this uh, raw photo of mine. As you can see, this photo is 1600 by 1067 pixels, which is way bigger than the required 600 by 600 pixels. Kilobytes, 98.6 kilobytes, which is okay. The photo should be between 54 kilobytes, but not more than 240 kilobytes. The next step, open your Canva app on your PC or your laptop. I know somebody will ask me, can I use my phone to do this? The answer is no. While on Canva, click this, custom size. Boom. Then you can choose the measurements, two in square or 600 by 600 pixels. I want to choose this. And then you upload the raw photo. For this case, it's already there. Now, this frame or template, let's say this frame, the one you see, it's a two inch square frame. It's only that it has been zoomed 185%. It has been zoomed 185%. And that's why you can see it's way bigger than two inch square. Now, the next step, you can drag this here and then bring this here and then boom, easy stuff. So, as you can see, two width, two inch height, two inch. It's okay. The next step is to make the photo centered. I mean, should be centered. So we can drag this here. Just click here. Maybe here. And then here. It's almost there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's now centered. The next issue is to deal with the background. As you can see, it's a white curtain, but it's not entirely white. Some parts here, it's not even white. So we need to change this. The next step, you click here. Just click here. And you have to click BG Remover. That's the next step. As you can see, the background now is super white. It's okay, it's acceptable. By the way, all those debility photos you see online with this background super white, the background has been enhanced, it's okay. So that's it, and then you click here. And then once again, this frame is two inch square. It has only been magnified 185%. You see? The next step is to click here, share. Click download. Change this to JBG. Then make sure the quality is 100%. Uh, then click download. 
You see? Click download. It's loading. And maybe we can name this as what? Let's say just today. And then the next step is to go to DV Lottery Photo Tools. This one from the Department of State. You can use this. And then also you can use this other one. It's called Green Card Photo Check. Yeah, use the two. Don't use just one. So let's start with this one. Choose photo. This is the first DV photo tool we're going to use to test our photo. And it's from the Department of State. Disclaimer. Even though this tool is from the Department of State, it's not able to pick uh, developer photo requirements 100%. It's not always 100%. It's only intended for cropping your photo to size. And if your photo is already cropped to size, it's able to show you the photo dimensions, 600 by 600 pixels, two inch square only. And that's why you should not make a mistake of relying on this tool alone. You have to subject your DV lottery photos to more than one DV photo tools. The first step, choose the photo. Let's choose our photo, upload. Boom, it says what? Your photo does not need cropping. Whenever you see this, note that your photo is good to go only in terms of photo dimensions, 600 by 600 pixels, two inch square, and that's it. Do not ever make a mistake of assuming that this tool is 100%, and I'm gonna show you why. Let's choose a wrong photo. Boom. What's wrong with this photo? It says what? Your photo does not need cropping. Photo dimensions, 600 by 600 pixels. I mean, this photo, in terms of dimension, 600 by 600 pixels, two in square, it's okay. However, this photo is wrong in many aspects. First of all, it's not passport size photo. It's a full photo. Even though it's a two in square, it's a full photo. It's wrong. As you can see, this person is having a tape or a cover, which is also wrong. This photo is not in focus. And then the edge size is less than 50%. So it's wrong. And that's why I recommend that you don't rely on this tool 100% just for cropping or checking the measurement. Let's go to the tool number two. It's called Green Card Photo Check. One thing I like about this tool is that it's able to show you the position of the head, the position of the eyes, and it's good to go. If your photo is less than 54 kilobytes, for example, it's able to pick that. Upload the photo. Today. Boom, as you can see, this photo of mine is meeting the requirements. Photo check, square aspect ratio, boom. 600 by 600 pixels, boom. Does not exceed 240 kilobytes, boom. Photo file, at least 54 kilobytes. It's not less than 54, 54 kilobytes. It's saved in JPEG file format. Yeah, it can be JPG or JPEG format. It's okay. The photo must be in co true color. It's okay. The background of the photo must be white, which is true. Go to next. 
this is what I like most about this tool. The position of the head, the position of the eyes. Please answer this question. In the picture on the left, are the eyes of the person on the photo, this person, located within the red dotted area? As you can see for this photo, it's yes. The eyes are lo located within the red dotted area. You click yes. The next one, do the following. Drag the top green bar on the left and move it so that it touches uh, the top of the person's hair. This one. Just drag it. And that's why you cannot use your phone. Oh, sorry for that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You cannot use your phone to do this. Now, answer question number two. Is the bottom of the chin now located within the green dotted area? For this case, as you can see mine, it's from here to here. At least it touches. It has to touch. So the answer is yes. The answer is yes. So it's good. Now, as you can see, this photo is good. Let's go back now and test the wrong photo. Let's test the wrong photo. This one. We want to test this photo so that we may see what's wrong with this photo. Okay, go back, 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 load. So that you can know that it's wrong to rely totally on DV Photo Tool. It's only for photo dimensions. Boom! As you can see, this one, the photo file must have a file size of at least 54 kilobytes. So this photo is wrong. It's wrong. It's totally wrong. Rule of the thumb. Make sure your photo is able to pass tool number one. Is able to pass tool number two. You can also subject your photo to photo checker on your phone. You know, photo checker, you can do it on your phone. At least three tools. Yeah. And that's it. Easy stuff. And that's what I did for my DV2023 uh, photo. I was able to subject my photo to at least three tools. DV Photo Checker, which can be on the phone. Green Card Photo Check, this one. And then Photo Tool from the Department of State. Yep. And that's, uh, that's it. Once again, don't always rely on this photo tool from the Department of State. Yep. Don't use it in isolation. Now, let's go back to our canvas. You see? The photo is good. So, this is one of the ways of editing a raw photo, which is this one, into this. And you can choose to change or enhance the background. It's acceptable. Yeah, it's acceptable to enhance the background. Yeah, as you can see, let me show you some examples of, uh, as you can see all these, you see? All those photos you see there, all those photos have been, uh, have their backgrounds enhanced. Yeah, good stuff. So thank you so much, guys. God bless you as you prepare to apply for DV 2027. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.